Shockwaves to the organization, but it's just the interesting part about it is that the Cavs have won their last two games since that embarrassing loss. While well, lately at three and eleven of their last Warriors, the team, the two teams that they're most likely to see in the finals if they get there. Well, uh, the loss to the Spurs, that was a close game. They had the lead early in the fourth quarter. They just weren't able to seal the deal. While Lele now at 12, Denzel Livingston tied up, but a foul on Daniel Corsi playing in his second game with Santa Cruz, getting in a elite monster. athleticism. He's just so skinny, but still, wow. 6'9", 185, Putney. Looney going to work and had it swallowed up by Amir Williams, Aaron Kraft's teammate at the Ohio State University. There you go, I knew you'd get the V in there. But Raphael Putney, Last year, only played 10 minutes per game, averaged just about six points and two rebounds. This year, 20 points and almost 10 rebounds per game. Looney the put back. Now that is where Kavon Looney really, really, you I think so. Right when he got that steal, his mind was probably going crazy thinking about how he was going to showcase his athleticism. And I would say mission accomplished. 14 for Putney. Hobson. Now, did Looney tip that in, or did that ball just well, bounce Maybe that's their second D-League title in 2013, then spent the past couple of seasons with the Rockets as director of player development. Eight-point lead for RGV. Contested three, just a little strong for Walele. When he misses, it's not by much. That was a good look for him. He nailed one. When he misses, it's not by much. That was a good look for him. He nailed one from that same spot on the floor in the first quarter. This is fun watching Kavon Looney and Rafael Putney. Because that's a, a matchup for Kavon Looney that he's going to have to get accustomed to defending. Kind of a, to defending. Kind of a, a versatile, in between type player who can get out on the perimeter. Looney more comfortable playing in the paint right now. He's more of a power forward slash small forward as opposed to a small forward power forward. Hobson drains the jumper. He's into double digits with 10. Six to shoot. Cummings oh. penetrates. Good defense from Santa Cruz. Del Jones with the left. No. Looney rips it down. Hobson tees up the triple. Too casual with the basketball. He was jab stepping. Chris Walker with six now. Six loud points for RGV. Out to Hobson for three. Offensive rebound, Koshwal. Looney gets it back, lays it in. It's a rebound, Koshwal. Looney gets it back, lays it in. Kevon Looney is a guy who really took it to heart as a kid when his coach said, follow your shot. Because he always assumes that he is missing around the rim. He's not missing that. Travis Schlenk and Kirk Legup are looking for those hybrid players. The Andre Iguodala's, the Draymond Greens, the Sean Livingston's, Harrison Barnes, go on and on. Cummings wide open from distance and he sticks the triple. Had a little stare down to the Santa Cruz. He's the guy who's top 10 in the D League and scoring at more than 20 per. Looney. Second attempt is just off the mark. Anthony Vereen into the game, fighting for the loose ball. That's Looney, gets it off the craft. Not a surprise that it's Looney who comes away with it. Looney not ready for it's One area of his game he needs to work on a little bit, just 68% from the strike. Williams, the fall away, Jay. That's his money shot right yes, there. Yes, it is. On that right side of the floor, fading away. He gets a tough call against Walker. He... Williams, the Euro step. Vereen from 16 off target. Putney 
And then ESPNU on Tuesday, February 9th at 11 p.m. Eastern. The Reno Bighorns right back here in Santa Cruz against the Warriors. For more on these games, please go to NBADLeague.com or visit the NBA D League app. The first place Reno Bighorns. 15-9 coming into this evening. with three, has to hoist, does at the horn, nails it. And of course, he decides to make a jump shot going to his left on the pull-up, as I was just saying a moment. Game here with Santa Cruz, had hip surgery back in August. The Golden State organization, along with Santa Cruz, easing him back into game shape. And he is going to be on some sort of minutes restriction here tonight, so we don't know how much we're going to see him play. Cummings. Oh, Can he lose to? The Stanford Cardinal. <laughs> there is a the Stanford University. Five minutes into the third. Hobson, the runner. No. Poshwell, yes. Well, Amir Williams had to step up and show on Darrington Hobson, and that allowed Koshwall the free reign, and he read it and timed it perfectly. Denzel Livingston with it out of Incarnate Word in San Antonio off to Jaron Johnson. Livingston launches, drains it. He had a couple of huge threes against the Blue on Wednesday night. One to tie it up at the end of regulation. And another. That is a deep three. League right now for the Reno Bighorns, Chad Topper. He's a sharpshooter. Williams launches, drains. Elliot Williams putting on a show. He is north of 20. Elliot Williams putting on a show. He is north of 25 points with 28. Cummings trying to answer back. Koshwal rips down the miss. On the miss. Williams playing like a man possessed tonight. Zings it to Kraft. Too strong on the three and off Amir Williams. Up of the season. And off Amir Williams. Up of the season so far. Corey Jefferson just getting a 10 day with the Phoenix Suns. Bryce DeJohn Jones with the New Orleans Pelicans. In and out from Daniel Corsi. Couldn't tie things up. Santa Cruz shooting 54%, 14 turnovers for the Warriors. Chris Walker posting up on Looney, out to the open, Cummings fires the three and drills it. Nice patience by Walker, did not force the issue. Surveyed the deep ninth free throw attempt of the game. And they're not shooting it well, they're 19 for 29, but it's no surprise that RGV has been living at the free throw line because entering today, they lead the D-League in free throws attempted per game at 32. They had more than 40 free throw attempts in their last game. That went in the league in percentage at just under 71. So their offensive rating is so good. Imagine if they were shooting around 76% as a team. Their offensive rating would be even better. Yes, it would. That is the answer to the question. Williams strong on the three. <laughs> I like to state the uh, back then it was the second. Yeah, round. don't get Jay Billis started on that one. He had 17 points in that win over the Blue Devils, 78-71. You mean you don't agree with the concept that 64 teams get a first round by? It should definitely be the first round. Wadlele in and out on Matt Koshwal, Daniel Wadlele, and Verdell Jones the third. Now, if you look at history, this game is pretty much over because Santa Cruz, when trailing after three quarters, is 4-15 this season. So let's go home, Drew. Let's go home, RGV, you get the win. Koshwal, he has a... Craft away from the on ball. Jones scoreless in this game. He averages 13 per contest. And his post entry taken away. Three, almost tripped, got it back, missed the layup. Here comes Kraft. Kraft forces the travel. Kraft comes out, Williams back in, and he'll likely be on the floor for the rest of regulation. While Lele open in the corner, drains it. 
great action. Elliott Williams getting point lead for the Snakes. Putney sizing up Looney. Wanted the give and go. Carlino instead into the corner for three. Three at the end of the shot clock. No good. And Cutter banks it in. The double team came, and Josh Smith skilled enough to recognize it and find the open teammate for the layup. Williams looking for 32. There it is. It's his eighth. 30-point game in the D-League this season. And that's why William Mason just went into a brick wall in Josh Smith, who did not lose any ground whatsoever. Cummings now with 16 points. Williams free. Off for Verdell. Jones drills the triple. Four-point game. Santa Cruz not going in. Lock inside. Williams pushing the pace. Now slows it down. Backing down on the smaller Cummings. Up with the left, almost banked it in. Looney's their weak side, and Matt Brozzi wants time. Well, it has been as high as through the